There's nobody in soccer who rivals him. Like, who's the greatest athletes in the world? Who's Pele? As ball and man soar to a graceful rendezvous in space, creating a goal of beauty. It's all his statistics from every game he played. Perhaps the most legendary player still alive to ever have played the sport. He was indisputably the number one soccer player. And he's lovable. It's not like a begrudging uh, Pele, you know, he's... I understand you are now a movie star, Pele. You made a, made a picture, right? And he stayed humble. Everybody loved him. He, everybody loved Pele. Very nice to be here. For you as a good man. If there is a crown jewel of soccer's king, that gem was bought by Dan Kaplan. And he became the man. With a soccer assist from friend Bob Lapidus. I got a lot of eclectic stuff. He called me up. He was so excited. My jaw dropped. He said, I found the Holy Grail. You're not going to believe this. And I was like, oh, my God. Lapidus initially made the play for this Pele. He bought the precious piece of paper from a dealer in Europe about two years ago. The 1957 sticker is a rarity among rarities. Kids in Brazil would stick them into collection books, but this one sticks out as the oldest, featuring a then 16-year-old Pele, the only one currently authenticated by professional graders, a total population of one out of one, as in one of a kind. Lapidus eventually selling it to Kaplan. It's just one true rookie card of the undeniably goat of the most beloved sport in the world. Do you think it warrants, uh, you know, Half a million? Yeah, I do. I don't know if it would make it to that or not, but that would be spectacular. Can we talk about the elephant in the room? Pele had a really, really bad mustache. Oh, that's what that is? <laughs> I thought it was a shadow. Wow. Now, Kaplan is about to sell that thin piece of paper for a thick wad of cash in the golden auction ending December 12th. He would know about the kind of action expected for the upcoming auction. He already holds the record for the soccer card, shooting up to the highest amount at auction. This 1958 Swedish Pele card selling just shy of $300,000. The image, easy on the eyes, the pronunciation, Tough on the tongue. Aletha Bolage. Aletha Bolage. Bob says it very different from me. Here is uh, what the Google lady says. 1958 Aletha Bolage Pele. Oh my God, that's Bolage. What did she say? Aletha Bolage. Aletha Bolage. You say it, I'm not even going to try. Yeah. Well, maybe we just call it Alpha. That sale made possible again by Lapidus, who sold that card and others to Kaplan. That 1958 Alpha initially netted Lapidus about a 900% gain on his original investment. And after Kaplan bought it, he turned around and scored a 500% gain on his purchase. Just one card bought and sold by two people, capitalizing on the recent explosive growth in the soccer market. And it just went boom, 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 boom. It was just like, like crazy. So I said, this is the time. I think it's the COVID situation. Like artwork is, like why not cards? People are putting more money into sports cards now as a result of not being able to go to restaurants or movies or vacation. Like every boom, there comes a bust. Yeah, hopefully the bust is like 200 years from now. This is way more fun for me than stocks and bonds ever were. Prior to peddling Pele's, Kaplan was an investment advisor who now spends part of his retirement buying and selling a stockpile of rare cards. This is a good one. This is the highest grade of five. Here's the uh, Heiner Lee. I like doubled my money. He's pretty smart cookie. Any regrets about selling? No, because I know what it meant to me at the time. And how it kind of saved my life to sell them. In 2018, my, my girlfriend got ill and went to the hospital. I had sold some cards that summer to Dan, um, and it, the, it, it allowed me to f have a financial cushion to quit my job. She passed away in November that year, but I quit in September. She said to me, I don't know if you did the right thing or not by quitting your job, but I'm really glad you did. I 
And uh, that, that felt really good. So I was able to be with her for a couple, two more months. But everything came together. Everything just came together. And Dan was a big part of it. Sounds like he, uh, he gave you a, a lot of freedom and you got that through a hobby. Yeah. 58 World Cup team in a wallet. I've only seen one other once. I don't remember when I got this. This guy's got boxes of stuff. What is this? <laughs> like 40 boxes. Have you ever seen this before? Me neither. Do you think Bob's just sitting on hundreds of thousands of dollars and doesn't even know it? Yeah. It's beautiful. It's there's only, The only thing that could be nicer would be one of these fours. <laughs> but it is this 1957 sticker that could leave a lasting mark on the hobby made possible by auction days from now and two men with a preference for Pele.